Ever pondered about the carbon impact of the construction and operation of the Cool Copper Collider, or C3? Today, we delve into this intriguing topic. In the realms of advanced scientific research, the C3 or Cool Copper Collider is a proposed Higgs factory. Now, you might wonder, what is a Higgs factory? Well, in a nutshell, it's a kind of particle accelerator, a massive machine designed to propel charged particles to high speeds and smash them together. The resulting particle showers can give us insights into the fundamental nature of matter and the universe itself. But these scientific marvels don't come without a cost. And today, we're talking about an often overlooked cost the carbon impact. The construction and operation of the C3 come with a significant carbon footprint. This doesn't just mean the emissions produced during its operation, but also the embodied carbon involved in its construction. Embodied carbon refers to the carbon dioxide emissions associated with the manufacturing, transportation, construction, maintenance and disposal of building materials. It's a vital factor in assessing the environmental impact of any construction project and the C3 is no exception. The proposed design of the C3 is quite compact, a factor that plays a considerable role in reducing its carbon impact. A smaller design means less material usage, which in turn implies less embodied carbon, but that's not all. The construction methods for the C3 have also been carefully tailored to minimize the carbon footprint. Instead of traditional carbon-intensive methods, the team behind the C3 is opting for innovative low-carbon techniques. This approach further reduces the embodied carbon and therefore the overall carbon impact of the C3. So, while the Cool Copper Collider is indeed a marvel of scientific engineering, it's also a testament to thoughtful, sustainable design. Its compact design and carefully chosen construction methods significantly reduce the dominant contribution from embodied carbon. It's a shining example of how we can strive for a scientific advancement without compromising our commitment to the environment. The compact design and construction methods of C3 significantly reduce its dominant contribution from embodied carbon. But what if we could lower the carbon impact of this accelerator? Indeed, it's not just a hypothetical. Strategies are in place. The first step is to understand the primary contributors to the carbon impact. For the Cool Copper Collider, or C3, the dominant contributor is the embodied carbon from its construction. One of the strategies to lower this impact is through a compact design and construction method. By reducing the size and complexity of the accelerator, we can decrease the amount of materials needed and hence the embodied carbon. But it's not just about reducing the size, the choice of materials also plays a crucial role. Materials with lower embodied carbon can be used wherever possible, further reducing the carbon impact. Additionally, construction methods that are more energy efficient can be employed, lowering the carbon footprint of the construction process itself. Now let's look at the operation of the accelerator. Here too, strategies are in place to lower the carbon impact. For example, optimizing the energy consumption of the accelerator can significantly reduce its carbon emissions. This can be achieved through efficient design and operation practices, ensuring that the accelerator uses the least amount of energy possible while still achieving its scientific objectives. But how do we know if these strategies are effective? That's where the proposed metric comes in. This metric enables us to compare the carbon costs of different Higgs factories. By using this metric, we can quantify the carbon impact of the C3 and compare it with other collider concepts. This comparison not only helps us understand the effectiveness of our strategies, but also allows us to identify areas for further improvement. With these strategies, we can greatly reduce the carbon impact of the C3, making it a more sustainable choice for Higgs factories. Not only does this approach make scientific advancements more environmentally friendly, but it also sets a precedent for future projects, showing that it's possible to achieve scientific breakthroughs while still being mindful of our carbon footprint. With these strategies, we can greatly reduce the carbon impact of the C3, making it a more sustainable choice for Higgs factories. So, what have we learned about the Cool Copper Collider and its carbon impact? We've delved into the carbon footprint of the C3, understanding that its construction and operation significantly contribute to its carbon impact. However, the compact design and innovative construction methods of the C3 are a game-changer, drastically reducing the embodied carbon, the dominant contributor to its carbon footprint. 
We've also explored various strategies to lower the carbon impact of the accelerator. These strategies are not just theoretical, they're practical measures that can be applied to make a real difference in carbon emissions. We've seen how these measures, coupled with the C3's unique design, can help lower the carbon costs of such large-scale scientific projects. The Cool Copper Collider, with its innovative construction methods and carbon reduction strategies, shows us a path towards more sustainable scientific endeavors to continuously be enlightened, like and subscribe.